and welcome back. Polly is here for another episode of Let's Play Sentinels of the Multiverse, the video game. And once again, I have with me my friend Jason. Say hi. Hey, I'm about to put Joey through hell. He is, because he gave me a suggestion that for some reason I'm actually going to take. Why don't you go ahead and load me up? Which villain are we playing with? All right, before... All right, so the villain is all the way to the right, buddy. We're doing Spike. We're doing Spike. Spike for a few reasons. One, because Joey hasn't seen Spite. I actually two, have not. Um, whenever I played with friends, we've just never gotten around to playing Spite, so... Two, because I'm not completely cruel and want Joey to survive the main thing I'm putting him through. And three, because Spite is from the environment that we're going to. Spite was Spite was made in, uh, in Rook City, and he's gonna die in Rook City. Just so you know, I'm like, here's how Spite's uh, setup goes. At the start of the game, Spite enters play a transhuman serial killer side up. Yeah, he's kind of a cross between, like, Bane and uh, the Joker and all that. And so as you can tell, like, his symbol is, his nemesis symbol is Wraith. Because... Wraith is going to be on his team. Right. Mostly for the nemesis, partly because I'm not a complete He also fan. has a card called Safe House, which we'll explain in, in game, uh, when we get to the game. That's what is going up. Um, and... For gameplay, when Spite deals damage, he regains that many hit points. You know, he gets his jollies off of hurting people, I guess. At the end of the villain turn, the top card of the villain deck is played. Then Spite deals the hero target with the highest HP, H, so, you know, the number of heroes, minus one energy damage. Deals that? Oh yeah, I guess he does deal energy damage. At the start of the villain turn, if there are five drug cards in play, Spite flips. And that's his other thing, is he's kind of like, when I said he's like Bane, is because he's always going after different drugs and whatnot. Uh, Arca, the Arkham series veterans will probably find that a more accurate comparison is this guy is what happens if Victor Zaz gets into Bane's drug stash. That's who I was thinking, not Joker, Zaz. Right. Okay, so we've got, we've got, uh, who's his face? Spite. And we need let's go ahead and pick him. heroes. Uh, this gives me a good chance to mention variants. If you do oh, certain yeah. convoluted things, you get variant cards. One Some those, are more convoluted than others. Yeah, we just finished up getting uh, Night Mist, which required us using other heroes to load her deck up, so we had a specific pattern of cards to use one of her cards, which creates a bunch of damage to uh, Storm. Yep. You'll see when we play Night Mist. I like her, so we will be playing Night Mist. Wraith is more straightforward. She has a card called Infrared Eyepiece. We mentioned this in the first episode. With Utility Belt and a second copy of Infrared Eyepiece, you could use two Infrared Eyepieces at the same time. And that's how you get it. And this one's pretty good. You know, reveal the top card of the Environment deck, play it or discard it. So, oh, hey, I like this card. Let's go ahead and get it out there now. Or, uh, I don't ever want to see this card in play. Let's get rid of it. Yeah. My, my issue with it is that, you know, it, it doesn't stop those bad cards from getting out. It just stops a bad card from getting out. Yeah. Anyway, so Still, we're going to play with the other Rook City characters, right? Yeah, we're going to do Expatriate. Who is... She's the, basically the Punisher. But she shoots Hooter. things. And Mr. Fixer. I don't know what Mr. Fixer is based off of. I think Mr. Miyagi, if he was a car mechanic. And blind. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to remember the name of the Marvel superhero, the hero for hire. Because he's basically like what happens if that guy gets old and opens up an auto shop. <laughs> Oh, we mentioned, you and I mentioned, we have actually three heroes we need to be Mr. Fixers, Roz, and Visionaries. Yep. All right, and so those are our three. Uh, are we doing anyone else? Um... Or do you just want us to deal with three player heroes? Three well, is probably better. We want to minimize the amount of damage Spite does, and Spite does a lot of damage that's true. scales with... And we've got some pretty heavy hitters. We don't have any really tanky, beefy people. We don't have any healing. This is going to be a very gritty fight. Yeah. Now, so, for the setting, this is probably my least favorite environment. Oh, Rook dude, City. it's my least favorite, too. And I'm going to spend a brief moment complaining to save you the air. Most of the environments in this game are arguably neutral. Some of them will weigh a little bit more heavily on the heroes than others. But for the most part, the environments are not on anyone's side. Rook City hates you. Yeah, Rook, Rook City, City is trying has... to kill you. Even, like, the, even like... the cards that like you are trying to like deal damage to you. 
Yeah, like, <laughs> it's that bad. Everyone in Rook City wants to see the heroes die. There are two people in Rook City who don't want the heroes to die, but they've, there's a Twitter that watches whenever they walk out of the hospital so that the villains will know to put them back in the hospital. Mm-hmm. It's... Oh, now, the thing I do like about Rook City, it's got some swanky background music. Oh, yeah. Can't we get along? I just want to share with everyone. You and your friends especially. And I'm not going to try doing Wraith's voice. No. But, uh... We, we have I do to... like that the dialogue changes if you use a different... Uh, wow. If you use different variants. Um... Anyway, so Spite's backstory is that he was, um, arrested for serial killing. And then, you know, was put through a whole bunch of drug tests, which gave him purple glowy hands. Oh, right, so here's a safe house. Basically, Spite's gimmick is that he uses victims. And we have to, like this one, this picture is just sick. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, this one's pretty terrifying, too. But the heroes have to save the victims. And they, oh, here's one of the, the drugs. Yes! Oh, give me a chance yes! to talk about you. Oh, oh, God. Okay, so remember when I said that I wasn't a complete dick to Joey? Uh, please watch the language. Sorry. Remember when I said I wasn't a complete douchebag to Joey? That <laughs> Remember how I said Rook City hates you? Well, Spite hates Rook City just as much All as right. I do. <laughs> well, yeah, he I'm... wants to kill everyone. Anyway, so at the end of the villain turn, destroy all environment cards. Spite deals each hero target X psychic damage where X the number of environment cards destroyed. This card is indestructible. If we put it into trash, put it into play instead. So... Yeah, you're taking one damage a turn, but that is so much nicer than what Rook City will do to you every turn. So much nicer. Anyway, start of each hero turn, that hero may choose Spite to deal them two melee damage. They take damage in this way, put this card under the safe house. When Spite is just when this card is destroyed, Spite regains health. I'm not gonna have Wraith take it because she'll take she'll extra take because extra. of Nemesis. All right, and what's Good Samaritan? At the start of the environment turn, the villain may choose to play the top card of the villain deck. If they do, put this card under the safe house. All right. Well, considering that most of his deck is just, like, full of victims, victims odds are good that's not going to hurt that bad. Well, here's one thing that is going to hurt him. Oh, yeah. Punching him in the throat hurts. I mean, you know, I've been punched in the throat before. It's, it's not my favorite. I've been hit in the throat with a stick before. It's unpleasant. Let's look at the top card. Card interest play, the second lowest HP. Alright, I'm gonna destroy that. Yeah. Trash that. Just... Utility bell! Andy. Also, Wraith looks super cool, except for that angle where you just see her, her eye. At that point, she actually starts yeah. looking like an intimidating Batman stand in. Let's see. Uh... Shouldn't she have taken damage, or did I accidentally skip it? I think you might have skipped it. Oh, I'll have Mr. Fixer take it. Yeah. He's, he's pretty tough. He's got the HP for it. Boom! Shotgun. So, yeah, like I said, if Expat, her ability is she plays a card. Yep. So you want to get equipment that lets her play a card. Mr. Fixer? What? Oh! Spike can't deal the damage. Oh. That... I, I messed that up. Oh, well. Oh, well. Mr. Fixer, Unless... he has Strike, which deals one damage. But he uses stances, and the stances are based off the four Chinese, uh, the four Shaolin style stances for the most part, or four of the five, and mechanic stuff. And then mechanic weaponry, or mechanic tools that he uses as a weapon, like the dual crowbar is supposed to be the twin uh, hook swords, or um, you'll see the others. Also, man, why you gotta do that to a dragon? Dragon didn't ask for that. Alright, we jo- want. Joey's a big dragon fan. I am a big dragon fan. I'm thinking Driving Mantis would be pretty good. Driving Mantis is actually one of like the main reasons I would I suggested Mr. Fixer. Uh, I think just suggested Mr. Fixer because he was a Rook City uh, hero. That too, but Driving Mantis Grease gun. does a lot to uh, keep Spite from... Being Spite super. is not supposed to be too Alright, do you want to play the top card of the villain deck? Yeah, let's deal with that. Yeah. Trust me. No! Aw, oh, that weasel. Well... Hey, good morning. Actually, that's not so bad. Yeah. Okay, uh, just because I would feel sick having the little girl destroyed. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Father. 
You're going to heaven. Well, it's, it's three hit points or three hit points, so it really is yeah. just kind of... It really is just sort of... I'm trying so, not to... So I, I do, you know, I like picturing a story of this. So they try moving in to save him, and Spite uses that as a chance to actually kill the guy. Damage. Well, the statue is destroyed. Okay. Spike's turn. What's he gonna do? Innocent bystander. Start of each hero turn, they may discard one card. If they do, put this card in the safe house. All right. When this card enters play. Destroy a victim card. Whatever Spike deals. So, what's innocent bystander do? So, so they all just he regains three hit points every time, yeah. right? He regains three hit points whenever he kills someone. But you want to save as many victims as you can for a completely different reason. Uh, so maybe we should have gotten visionary. I'm, I, I'm, do I am doing my best not to spoil this for Joey. Uh, I, I think, I think I know some part about it, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, anyway. Let's save that for someone else. Uh, start punching things in the face, cause you gotta yeah. make up some damage. Great, gonna do nope. a bunch of damage to him. Aha! Nothing. Yes, that card is vital. Yeah, I bet it is. It's vital for most villains. Save him. Save, save the little girl. And yay, we, we did a good deed. Sorry, Father, but your sacrifice was not All right. right. Uh, we're going to have to destroy the RPG lock with, uh, with the RPG. So, yeah. <laughs> also, I we're like how she's riding a pterodactyl. <laughs> we're stuck. We're stopping Spite from doing collateral damage by shooting. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Damage, Mr. Fixer. Damage, Mr. Fixer. Hit Mr. Fixer. I didn't even think about that. No, dude. Mr. Fixer had driving mantis out. You could have hit him in the face with the rocket. Oh, that's true. Wait, does it re redirect damage to whoever he wants or to the source? That's check real quick. To a target of my choice. Well, do we want to be cheesy or do we want to stick with our mistakes? Well, cheesy would be we just saw the top card of our deck and we're using convoluted mechanics to change it. This is more, you know, showing off a useful mechanic and also something that you could do with the tabletop game, so... All right, fair enough. Okay, so you can go back. I'm never going to go back further than the start of a turn. Yeah. And only if it's for, like, situations like this. Yeah, like I, where you missed where, or get something. Before we did anything else, Jason pointed out to me. So he's redirecting the explosion back to Spike. Mr. Fixer is awesome. Yeah, I, I can't disagree with can, that. So another type of shotgun. Of Unfortunately, the shotgun is limited, so you can only have one. But, you know, whatever. Alright, I would. You know what? I'll save that. This prevents him from dealing damage, but Fixer can't draw cards or use powers. I think I'll just use the crowbar. The crowbar gives plus one damage, and if you deal damage, you can deal damage to another target, and you deal even more damage wait, that way. Wait, 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 show all targets. Remember, you're only doing two damage, so you oh, may as well hit yourself. No. <laughs> Holy works. crap! That actually works? <laughs> yeah. Be it super cheesy. Oh, that is, that is ludicrously cheesy. But it's amazing. Nope, it doesn't work. Wait, no. Wait, it, doesn't, it, uh, do, it doesn't work because um, you eventually dealt damage to that one target. So, it's, uh, a, it's a cool... It's, Oh. That was disappointing, I'm not gonna lie. Because I figured. Okay, you know, at the end of the environment turn, play the top card of the villain deck. At the start of the environment turn. So let's see what goes in. Okay, so this plays the top card of the villain deck. Oh, come on! Well, there's no villains out, so we're good. Yeah. And he's gonna have a hard time, like. Uh, doing increased it. damage dealt by one. At the start of the villain turn, put one hero ongoing or equipment. Wait, wait, wait! He does more damage and he puts stuff back in your head. That's annoying. Just about. Still, uh, he's not not doing enough damage to proc collateral, so. I'll go ahead and put. Oh no, this is. 
Heals it. <laughs> no, we'll we'll take that elsewhere. Save that for someone else. Utility bill. Yep. Okay, let's see what's on the environment deck. Increase damage dealt to hero targets by one at the end of the hero's turn. If that hero dealt no damage, they're playing to discard two guards to destroy this card. Just put it in the trash right now. Yeah. And then we'll shoot him. Yep. <laughs> okay. Alright, that's a, not a bad one. No, That'll be a good fodder for having returned to the deck. Return yep. to the hand. Alright, she'll take the damage. She can take the hit. Yeah. Actually, yeah, no, it wouldn't have worked using it with Fixer. Nah. If we had the pipe wrench out, maybe, but we don't have the pipe wrench. We might get the pipe wrench. Anyway, so let's pull that off again. Yeah, because it's just hilarious that this works. <laughs> it really is pretty amazing. I'm I'm quite pleased with with that. Right. And let's shoot him. Reload. As soon as and as soon as we can get out the infrared eyepiece, we're in good shape. Alright, I'm thinking... No, let's save Grease Gun for if he flips. Yeah. Alright, um... I kind of want to save Overdrive, but let's use it. Just smack him in the face a few times. Right. And we're gonna have to stop because... We can't take advantage of, like, the coolest thing in the dual crowbars on this map, so. If we could do the damage in the other way, we'd be able yes! to... Oh, yes! Okay, well, the next thing we're returning is going to be the dual crowbars. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> so. Okay, this is an annoying card. Toxic slot. Mm. That's unfortunate. Well, well it's annoying, but... <laughs> We can just do this. I like to I like to imagine that he, he is wafting the stink at Spite by fanning it at him with his hands. I feel I feel more realistically he's probably grabbing Spite and using him as a bodyboard over the sludge. Now I'm just um, now I'm just imagining now I'm just imagining him as the surfer dude in his youth. I may discard one card if they do. This card is put in the safe house. So what? How how is he playing two cards per turn? Um, I I am not sure. Uh, let's poke around. We're actually taking a lot of damage here. No, we can do that for someone who has more expendable cards. Right. Eyepiece. Eyepiece. Eyepiece is nice. Yeah, let's play eyepiece. Okay. So, on. that's not a good one at all. Honestly, I'd rather give him the drugs than give him forced entry. Yeah, first time spot would be dealt damage, reduce that damage by one. This card is indestructible. This card will be put in the trash, but it, yeah. Alright, fine. Ah! It's a good card. Oh, yes. Alright, discard a card, yes. Let's get rid of uh, incendiary rounds. Not the... Re uh, I guess you can use reload to get your incendiary rounds back. Right. Well, so ultimately it doesn't matter. I was gonna say, just get rid of the silly shotgun that you have an extra of. That's true, I should've done that. Okay, well... Um... Uh, 
How does he destroy the environment turn? Play the top card of the villain deck. Ah. Uh, yeah, let's do some damage. Yeah, damage is fun. I like damage. Damage is good. So she has these ammo cards that she can play under her, uh, her shotgun, her uh, weapons, which is why she's able to do that. Oh, hold on a second, here he runs. Welcome back. Alright, Pipe Wrench. Pipe Wrench reduces the damage he takes and increases the damage he deals. So right now, he's like our new little girl rescuer. Forever. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, nice. Yes. Oh. Eh, he's gonna destroy it. Yeah, but we're still gonna go through all of its effects. Alright, let's return the shotgun. Yeah. Expatriate is hurting for a Destroy a victim card, reveal cards on top of the deck until the victim card is revealed, put it into play. So the nice thing is, is that the victim card is revealed after the destroy effect. Yep. Uh-oh. Okay, that ain't good. He's up to four? Yeah. Lab raid. Ha! Uh -oh. He's up to five. Okay, well, we're about to see uh, why we wanted so many victims in the safe house beyond moral reasons and what happens when he flips. Is it each non villain? Yep. I think Victor's gonna be the only one out there. Yep. We might have to do a rematch. Uh, do I don't want to discard a card. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mega Pewter. Alright, so I'm gonna play this. And I would start working on getting out stun bolts. Stun bolts? Yeah. And Just, play. However, I'm gonna play this. That is that will definitely salvage that will definitely get by I'm going to sig in Well let's see. Do I want to? Yeah, I guess I really want to deal more damage. Yeah. Because. Uh, oh, he right now. He, well, well, he reflects damage. Oh, I did not realize he did that. So. Well, I guess that's this one. Remember, here uses the power of spike deals them two toxic damage, and that hero discards the top five cards of their deck. Well, that would be, like, really, really terrible for, like, deck manipulators, but... Yeah, except honestly, for the, the, the taking the two toxic damage. Yeah, the two toxic damages. Alright, I'm gonna so, skip then. Well... You, actually... You should have led with the... Well, yeah, if I'd known about it. Yeah. Okay. Smoke bombs. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Mr. Fixer. This is why we like Mr. Fixer. Mr. Fixer's great. Um. I'm gonna do it. Yep. Thinking about the grease gun. Harmony increases their damage by one if you have a style and a uh, stance and a weapon out. For instance, a pipe wrench and. Ooh, yeah, hoist change is tempting. You may want to trade out for that hoist chain because right now you are in the slugfest portion of this fight.
is a drug racked monstrosity. Alright, so when Spite flips to this side, all villain cards in play other than drugs are destroyed. Whenever a villain card be played, instead Spite deals each hero target other than the hero target with the lowest HP 1 projectile damage. However, look at the safe house effect. I think it's the safe house. Yeah, it's the safe house effect. Boom! Spite, Spite flips to the side, he deals... Wow. Yeah. X times 5. Yeah. Let's my do first, <laughs> my first time in this fight, I ended up hitting him for like forty. Nice. Which card should return to hand? I guess the uh, shotgun. No, the infrared eyepiece. Ah, uh, all right. He's he is never playing a card again. Oh right. Be first target be dealt damage. Well, here. What? Let's race out that three. Uh, yeah. This is why we want that ash chain out. Also, why you wanted double stun bolts. Haha! <laughs> They're both. Oh, this is perfect! This is perfect! <laughs> oh my god, how did that happen? I don't know, but. I'll, okay, I'll, so I'll... here's what's going on, is that Wraith and Expatriate both have three health. And this okay. card, whatever villain would deal damage to the hero with the lowest uh, health, redirect that to the hero with the highest health. Mr. Fixer is tanky. Fair. <laughs> these guys are fragile, and all of that is being redirected. I like to imagine that instead, it's just missing. Well, yeah, he's probably flipped out right now, and he's... Oh, yeah. Also... This is like the entire reason why I suggested you want lots of stun bolts. Yeah, okay, <laughs> because so we're gonna, we're gonna one, play this. Not... Yep. We're gonna get a uh, micro targeting computer. Play. Because we have a stun bolt in our hands. Play a stun bolt in our hands. And let's see. So, how much damage does this do? Two. <laughs> oh, that's gorgeous. Except he's going to redirect it to Mr. Fixer, I think. What? If right. Thinking... Exactly. <laughs> I guess I wish I could say I planned that. I really do. <laughs> well, I can definitely say I guided you in the right direction. Yeah, but you didn't even plan them both having uh, the exact same health. No, no, I didn't. That was admittedly <laughs> really cool. One, only one ammo card can be, maybe play next to this card at a time. Oh well. That increases the damage and turns it to fire damage. It's handy. It is. Whoopsies! Ah, <laughs> uh, so good. Do I even need driving mantis anymore? Um, or you might want to keep it. But yeah. you definitely want to tr trade up to a hoist chain. Oh, yeah. Are oh, you sure? Wait. Actually, if the smoke bombs keep redirecting to Mr. Fixer, you might not need the hoist yeah, chain. Yeah, no, I don't think I need the hoist chain. Yeah, well, in that case, hell, overdrive. Yeah. <laughs> Go for the gold. No kidding. Oh, man. I was actually starting to get worried that we might lose this one. Yeah. I mean, no, the environment might, fair, the environment might is, still ruin us. There's still room for elemental screwery, but... Yeah. Um, so I think the next things I need to start playing are the... Um, twisting back alleyways, reduce damage dealt to villains by one. An environment card. No, no I don't need to, because he'll destroy it. See. So basically right now he's just destroying all of the environment around him. So we need to return a card to hand. I'm thinking the uh, shotgun. Razor, well, no, no, no. razor ordinance. What? Razor ordinance. You're not yeah. never using razor ordinance anymore. Before you start returning things you actually use, return things that you don't care about. 
She's for me. Yes. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> that to negative two damage. He, do, he just deals penny packets of damage, right? Yeah. Um, what's his? What happens when you're supposed to play a card? Uh, when he's supposed to play a card, he hits everyone except for the lowest health Still hero. With one projectile there. damage. Wow. Yep. Oh man. I'm sorry, you guys. This went anticlimactic fast. <laughs> Admittedly, it was pretty anticlimactic the first time I did it too. But you got to see you're you're looking at a lot of Rook CD's cards, and you're seeing why I wanted Spite here right, because so. I don't feel like I don't feel like dealing with Joey complaining about this. Hey, hey, I don't complain that much. You know what, I'm just gonna, it doesn't matter, I'm just gonna play this. Stun Bolt. The, the Wraith is now our play cards that will get returned to her hand, Mule. Yep, and I'm still discarding five cards every time. Yep, but, you know, taking them off the top of your deck, not so bad. You'll get yep. them back. Everything looks like, yeah. Hey! I think I'll start getting the uh, environment protection thing up. Yeah, that's right, probably. Let's play Arsenal problem. Access. So she has two Ooh, cards, hey. Pride and Prejudice, that work off each other. Up and we're getting pre and we're getting Prejudice out first, so the art won't look stupid. Yeah. I think I think everyone looking at this can guess what Pride would look like. You know, and the ankle, how she's holding it, all that. I love the dove motif she's got going on. I think those are Falcon. No, they're doves. Are you this sure? is John Woo as hell. Oh, I didn't think about that. Good call. <laughs> I like the nostalgia Come critic thing where he's got flaming doves every time something cool happens. Yeah. I'm sorry, but it's. Oh, and, and there, we there we go. That let me get pride either from the trash or from my deck. Provided, right. of course, that, you know, this guy doesn't just die this turn. Oh, geez. Yeah, good point. No, uh, he'll live. He'll live long enough to get hit in the face with Well, pride. I could crowbar him. That crowbar wouldn't, wouldn't him. give... No, crowbar... It would do the same amount of damage as a pipe wrench. That's true. Well, in that case, what am I playing cards for? <laughs> Meditation lets him, uh... Get a, a style card. At this point, I would have switched out to uh, Monkey Fist. Oh, yeah. Grease Monkey Grease Fist. Monkey Fist but... An environment card just deals each hero, uh, two hero targets to projectile damage. See? 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 This is why no one likes this deck. Well, here's what we'll do <laughs> we'll shoot Expatriate and Wraith so that gets redirected to Mr. Fixer, who only takes, like, no damage from everything. Right. Still. Or not he's... What? I'm not sure. Oh, it's only from villain targets. Oh, no, that's why. Oh, well. They're but, still tied. Yeah, that's so. why I switched it over. Man, they are close, though. <laughs> yep. It doesn't matter, though. They're not going down. Anyone who's played Magic the Gathering knows that the only hit point that matters is the last one. <laughs> <laughs> Just watching it. Ambitious Racketeer was destroyed. It is like, hey, I'll help you for this amount of money. And right, Spite just goes, I'm going to eat your brain. I I like to imagine that Spite is just so wigged out on drugs right now. That he's just sort of ineffectually slapping at the air. Well, it's like when, when Batman finally gets Bane super pissed off and he just always misses everything. Like, yeah, Bane, when he's thinking, can outwit Batman, but, you know, when, when he gets super mad, he's gonna miss a lot. Alright. So, we're gonna stop that Racketeer thing from happening again, because we're gonna get these out. Reduce environment damage by two, by one. Put it in play, and then we're gonna play this. Stun bolts. Oh, appropriate. 
Wraith finishes him off. With a stun bolt, no less. Well, guys. Oh. Ugh. Oh, no, he's holding his face. Okay. I think canonically he dies. Oh, yeah? Well, dude, look oh, at Oh, yeah, him. he his... dies and then Gloomweaver takes over. Yeah. Right. He, he doesn't have any flesh on his arm. He's bleeding out. It's not bleeding right there. That's called pustule losing. It's much worse. Anyway, guys, it's... this has been fun. I, I hope this one's exciting. It was certainly an amusing match to play. <laughs> yep. Um... And we'll probably see Spite again, same with Baron Blade, once I unlock their variants, but their variants are crazy difficult to unlock. We don't even, actually, the community doesn't even know how to unlock Spites yet, I don't think. They don't? Uh, no, no, they do, we just don't know the code yet. Glue Weaver, we don't know how to unlock. Um, no. I Jason, think it's you want to, uh, Jason, you want to do some more recording of this? We'll get a backlog going. Ooh. I do so enjoy this. All right. See you guys clearly next time. Holy us out.